Are we learning? Lesson number three. Are you ready? People are not really affected by what happens to them. Listen and then you write. People are not really affected by what happens to them. They are affected by the meaning they give what happens to them. It is not what happens to people that affects them. It is the definition and the meaning they give what affects what happens to them that causes the pain and the despair. Let me say it again and then I will, I will, I will dictate it for you to write. People are not really affected by what happens to them. They are affected by the meaning and the definitions and also the interpretations that they tie to what happens to them. Please look up. Don't worry, you will write. What is the difference between falling in church and falling in a restaurant? Young lady, as I'm teaching right now, if the power of God carries you up and lands you down, you get up rejoicing. And even your seat may say, my God, he has visited you. Versus you fall down in a restaurant. You fell down. You, the worst fall may even be here. What is the difference? It's not the falling down. It's the meaning that you attach to that experience. That's what causes depression. That's what causes joy. It is never what happens to you that has that power to destroy you. You have associated happenings around your life and you have connected them to certain meanings. There are events that mean failure to you. There are events that mean weakness to you. There are events that mean oppression to you. What is making someone cry is another person's desire. Someone will cry and say, I got only one million. It's a meaning you connected to it. That based on your level, one million is a testimony of a failure. Whereas for someone, that one million, he would talk about it as though, I mean, he just got to heaven. Now you write, please. People are not affected by what happens to them. They are affected by the meaning they connect to the happenings. People are not really affected by what happens to them. They are affected by the meaning that they connect to those happenings. This is the reason why comfort and counseling is powerful. What happens when you are comforted? What happens when you are being counseled? Your perceptions are being changed, that's all. The situation is not being solved necessarily. It is your perception. For instance, if you lose a loved one because of the pain, or let's, let me use something more, more bearable. You lose a job and you get angry and angry and someone sits with you down and says, do you know, perhaps the Bible says all things work together for good. Is that true? Watch what is happening to you now. The person says, I know the story of someone who lost a job and did not know it was a springboard to the next level. At the end of it, the person who was crying 10 minutes ago is now suddenly rejoicing. Did you give the person a job? No, you change the meaning associated to that situation. Can I tell you, when you learn this principle, you can laugh through storms. What happens when you make a video and you have only two likes or two follows? Why do you cry? Abba, all of this, can you imagine? I suffered to preach this message and only two people. Are you sure it was only two people? What if the first click was a congregation listening to you? But you have, there is a meaning People are not really affected by what happens, I assure you. Why do you hate to let people know that your father, with all due respect, maybe is some person doing some menial job and you lie and call him your uncle? No, that's my uncle. My real father is abroad. Why are you telling that lie? It's not necessarily because you're a bad person. There is a meaning. You feel that when you reveal the true status of your father in that lowly estate, it may affect people's perception about your self-worth and you will lose your sense of significance. That means a secured believer is one 
who redefines the meaning that you have associated to many things and with many things in your life. Hallelujah. Are you learning? It is truly not what happens to you that destroys you. I mean, you just called me Joshua Selman, not Apostle Josh. Do you know who I am? What is the meaning of that? Perhaps, maybe from that culture, they feel it's okay to just say Joshua Selman, and you have saved me. You will soon know now that God called me. All that complaint is simply because Apostle was missing? No. It is a meaning you have connected to it. There are people who are so insecure that even if it's a little child that taps your leg and says, Uncle, they will slap him because they are used to respect. How dare you tap my feet, this little boy? And they slap the boy and say, you don't know who I am. Why will a man pound on his wife, slapping her and saying, do you know I'm older than you? It should be obvious. Why would the woman revenge back and say, you will, you, will, you, will, you will stay without food this night? And all that drama is happening. Do you know at the end of it is simply that there is a, an oscillation. They are stinging their ego and simply because of the meaning. Meaning. Lessons from an overcomer. Number three. We are not really affected by what happens to us. It is the definition and the meaning that we associate. So because of this, meaning and definitions, another word for it is called ego. Ego is an industry. There are businesses that are literally built out of this deficiency in men. Are we together? Yes. If you watch me and I come down from a car and it's a nice Jeep or some Lincoln Navigator or something, like, that's right. But if I come out from maybe a Gulf or somewhere, you now say, no, 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 now this should not be. There are people who stand behind aircrafts. They have never entered and may never enter soon and snap in front of it and just say to God be the glory I just arrived. Why? No, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I'm not trying to be sarcastic, all right? But why do we go through this pressure? Why do we go through all of those kinds of things? That house you see is my own. In fact, uh, I don't want to say much. And then we wrap up everything and just say to God be the glory. But the truth is that we hope that by some meaning, even if it is by falsehood, we will earn respect. Are we together? People will believe that, oh, we are serious people, maybe we are wealthy, and so on and so forth. Can I tell you, when you learn to give things proper meanings, offense will be minimized in your life. The direct consequence of violating this principle is that you will live a life in unnecessary pain and offense. Someone can be looking at you and thinking about his rent, and you will think the person is eyeing you. I've noticed that this person is eyeing me and honestly, the person is just, you know you can be looking at someone and you are not there. The person is thinking of what explanation he will give the landlord and you are there misunderstanding the person and looking at the person through the lens of your insecurity. Can we do number four? 